Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Educational Code Forces round 154 and we're going to solve the third problem that is queries for the array. Let's quickly see what the problem states. So initially Monocarp is a person and he has an empty array and uh, he performs three types of uh, queries in this array. So if he wants to choose an integer, let's say he wants to choose an integer 2 and he appends it to the end of the array. Okay. And each time Monocarp uh, performed a query of this type, he wrote out the character plus. If he wants to add something uh, at the end of the array, he will say that it is plus. If he wants to remove the last element from the array, that is 3 is the last element he inserted. If you want to remove the, uh, any last element, he'll say that it is minus. And then check if the array is sorted in non-decreasing order where k is the number of elements in the array. Uh, non-decreasing means it's less than or equal to uh, the next numbers and uh, every array with less than two elements is considered sorted. If the array was sorted by the time Molokov performed the array of that query, he wrote out uh, a character 1, otherwise he wrote out a character 0. So if an array is there like 1, 2, 3, 3, something like this, uh, if he queries at this time, he will say that this is uh, non-decreasing, right? It is uh, increasing. So he will write 1. And, uh, if you want if uh, it when can it be zero so if a number is here it doesn't necessarily mean that it should be three two one something like that it can be the case that it is three two one two three four five any mixed number that is non-decreasing that is not a non-decreasing that is not an increasing is considered as zero any number it can be increasing decreasing combined together or it can be uh, decreasing alone anything can be zero and one more most important thing that they told is every array with less than two elements is considered sorted. So let's tell that either if empty array or if there is any array that is having only one element is considered sorted. Not less than or equal to, it is less than. Now what is our thing? So what is our output we should give? So we are given a sequence of characters. So uh, while performing an operation, he writes the what he does to a separate paper, right? Plus, minus, one, zero like that. Uh, they will give that one. And these are the characters written by Monogar given in the exact order. You have to check whether the sequence is consistent. That is, it was possible uh, for Monogar to perform the queries so that the sequence of characters he wrote out was exactly as. Suppose if he wants to insert, he'll put a plus. Suppose if you want to uh, like remove, he will put minus. If it's sorted like non-decreasing, it he'll put one zero something like that. So uh, we will get these numbers and we will say that we'll get these characters and we have to say that whether. Uh, Monocarp have performed some uh, valid operation and got this sequence. If he uh, directly tells some random uh, string, right, it might not be possible. So in that case, we should say the answer is no. So how is that possible? Let's try to understand with the help of an example. So in this case, uh, the first character is plus, right? What they are telling is they are adding an integer 3 here. Then again a plus came, we are adding an integer 2 here. Then check that the current array. Current array is 3 greater than 2. It is, is it sorted? It is not sorted. So it is 0. Okay, it's perfectly fine. Remove the last element. That is minus represents, we need to remove the last element. Now 3 is only existing. Now again plus came. Plus what did they add here? Uh, plus they added 3. Now they kept 1. 1 is non-decreasing. Non-decreasing means less than or equal to, so this is also valid. Minus means again it removed, 3 is only remaining. Now plus came. What did they add here? Add the integer minus 5. So 3 comma minus 5. So 3 is greater than minus 5 here. That is uh, neither uh, this is decreasing. Uh, so we say that it is uh, is it sorted or not? It is not sorted. So you in, uh, so you output 0 here. So with this operations you can perform uh, the reverse sequence that Monocarp was performing. So we have to say whether this is valid or not. So very important thing is 0 does not mean it is a decreasing. 0 can mean it can be either increasing or decreasing. So either increasing, decreasing mix or uh, it can be any permutation or uh, it is uh, completely decreasing. It's just that it is not non-increasing, non-decreasing. Sorry, it is just that it is not non-decreasing. So how do we solve it? So before solving this, let's try to understand what are the possible cases that are available. Then we'll try to connect those dots. So whenever you say uh, the value is plus, right? Whenever we say the value is plus, we say that the length of the numbers are getting increased. So I can say that we don't have to output the integer. We just have to print yes or no. Now, whenever we say the character is minus, we say that the length of the characters are decreasing. And whenever we say one, we say that uh, it is uh, the sorted value will be the length. So sorted is a variable and I keep the length. So here one most important thing that we know how to notice suppose if you have a set of characters like this 
and you are writing 1 here. This num we can we don't know whether this plus minus plus minus is a non-decreasing, increasing or mix or something, we don't know. This is the one who decides whether it is increasing or decreasing or what is the format of this. If we see 1 immediately at the start, we can say this set is an increasing. That means a non like let's say increasing only. Non-decreasing. Now, if instead of plus plus minus plus plus, instead of 1, if we put 0, the entire thing can be considered as not non-decreasing. Not non-decreasing. So, you understood, right? These are all the decided factors. So, on a general case, if you are able to understand the sorted, we are, uh, if you are able to understand one, we assume that the whole length of it should be sorted. So, we wrote this. Now, what if it's 0? Zero? 0 means it's unsorted. Unsorted length. We got all these four conditions. Now, we are good. We are good with the, all the uh, normal conditions that they gave in the question. Now, what is the... Now, let's see whether yes or no can be directly done here. So, let's see this one. Here, they told every array with less than two elements is considered sorted. So, that means what? If length less than two... It is considered sorted, but what if uh, in an array like plus plus zero minus 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 something like that comes uh, at the end of the time, like or if length is less than two, uh, what do we say? If s of i and and s of i is zero, that means my array can be empty or array size is one. And I am telling that and monocarp is telling that uh, the array is not non-decreasing means it is a clear no, right? So this is one no condition that we saw from question. So what did we do? We just traced out what are all the available things and we understood that this is sorted or what can be unsorted and uh, we just uh, got the answer from the question for the no condition. Now what all things can come here? So we saw the basic things and uh, we'll just figure out what can be the next condition. So if there are uh, a set of numbers, let's say this is the original array. This is plus 0, plus 0, they wrote, right? Here 1, 2, 3 or some numbers are there from whom it can be derived. So here all the numbers are there and uh, we have sorted and unsorted variables. So here they are telling that it is unsorted here. Let's say this is uh, 100, this is 1000 here. This is definitely unsorted, right? Later, after performing some more operations, a 1 is coming. And this one is coming at a length more than zero. So if this is at length five means at uh, length eight or something, you are getting s of zero, uh, s of i, s of i as one, and this s of i is zero here. So can I say that if one comes here and if zero comes here, is this a valid statement? Zero means from here everything is unsorted, and one means here everything is sorted. So is this a valid condition? This is definitely not a valid condition. We just uh, saw from the question. So since this is not a valid condition, how do we check this? So how do we check this is when we encounter a one, if s of i is equal to equal to one, and when the unsorted position, unsorted we already got in the length, right? We are catching the position here. And if the unsorted position is less than or equal to length, then we can say that this is also no. Do I make sense? Because uh, if this is unsorted, then how can this be sorted? This is contradicting here, right? So this is not possible. Now, what can be other condition? If we write down, we will come to know, right? So let's say uh, we'll consider the original original array only rather than going to the operations. So there are some numbers like two, three, x, x, x something, and uh, my friend is reporting here uh, zero, okay? And then some x, x, x something or xx let's say let's not take zero here for now we'll say initially we got one uh, so if we get one here everything is non-decreasing that is um, this is sorted so if this is sorted then if i remove an element if i remove an element the sorted value let's say uh, it is at length 10 if i remove an element can i tell that uh, the sorted value will be 10 only the length of this i am taking the sorted value as length can i tell that no right because next time if some other number comes and zero comes here it changes so this is not like a static array it is like a dynamic array he inserts he decrements he inserts again just like what we uh, saw in the question here so as we see here 
he inserted two, he removed two, he inserted three, he removed three, then he inserted five. So three uh, is greater than minus five, right? So like this is less than or equal to. So the value can keep on changing. So since the value can keep on changing here, we say that when one comes here, whenever we are removing an element, we need to make sure that the sorted value also decreases. When will sorted value decrease? How will we check that? If any time we got sorted value as length, for all the condition, we can simply write like, if sorted is greater than uh, the existing length, that means if sorted is there, but length actually reduced, then we say that sorted will be the length. So I reduce two elements, so length will be eight, means I can simply say that the sorted value is eight. So I just need to track off this. So we got the, for one, we do this. For zero, how do we do? So for example, there are some numbers like one, two, three, four, five, something, and uh, the operation is zero here. So this is unsorted because of, uh, as I told earlier, plus, 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 since zero came, we are considering this as unsorted. But if I remove uh, this zero here, it may or may not be sorted, right? it may or may not be sorted because I can show you this with the help of an uh, example one two three one then in the operation they are telling that uh, here plus 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 they are telling zero okay this is unsorted if I remove the plus here zero and plus here if I remove it it becomes sorted right so tomorrow or next element if it is if the operation is one then also it's valid so if it is one two three one and the operation is zero means if we remove one element we have to make sure we are destroying the index here so zero if zero comes we definitely say that uh, the uh, we wrote here right where is that unsorted value is length so in a case where uh, this unsorted is compromised that is if size is less than unsorted then we say that unsorted will be uh, int max why are we doing it because if we remove an element, it may or may not be sorted. So we don't know. So we are destroying the unsorted index. So we, what did we do? We found what if one is there and if we remove it, what happens? And uh, if unsorted is there, if we remove it, what happens? But before that, we got this no condition for length less than two. And we got no condition like uh, if one is here and zero is existing, that is not possible. That also we got. And what if the case, uh, like, uh, let's take uh, this example, right? If uh, one got sorted here, we are keeping on removing it. If you remove it, as I told earlier, the size is same, right? This is the sorted value. So the sorted size keep decreasing and the size also will be exactly same because one got statically uh, stood here for some numbers. Now we are telling that if sorted and size are equal and some random guy came and told that, hey, you know what? Here S of I value is zero. This is non-decreasing. Am I allowed to say that? Definitely not, right? So in this case, there is a contradiction that's happening. If sorted is equal to equal to size and S of I is equal to zero, then I can say no. So by this way, we covered all the combinations. Like if one we remove, if zero we remove, or uh, zero and one comes, one and one comes, uh, zero and zero, any number if you come, we kind of covered everything. So again, like to break it further, let's understand it, uh, how did we derive the solution. So plus minus one and zero, we got all the numbers, plus means we increment the length, we decrement the length, one means we understand that if plus is are there, then one decides whether it's sorted or not, and zero represents whether it's unsorted or not. While writing unsorted, we need to make sure there are no zeros existing before. So what did, why, why are we telling that uh, no zeros are existing before is, uh, because if we, we want to, if on already unsorted is there, then definitely this zero does not make any sense. It's already unsorted. So that's why only uh, if we change the index here, we are losing track of this. So that's why we just have to say if zero and it's int max means you have to keep unsorted as length. Now we got all of this four. Now we saw the, from the question that what are the no condition? We saw that if length is less than two and S of I equal to equal to zero, it is a no condition. Then through observation, we saw that if S of I equal to one and if S of I equal to one and some zero is coming on the length between, it is not possible. So we kept no. And there can be a modified version of this where 
uh, we are removing these numbers and even if zero comes here and if the sorted and uh, size is same here that means zero is not possible cannot come here so that is also a no so what is the condition here that is if s of i equal to equal to zero and and sorted equal to equal to size and uh, one more thing we are doing whenever we remove element if sorted is greater than size we just have to say that sorted equal to size now let's understand this with the help of the code so what did we do here first we took all the conditions that is length plus plus length minus minus whenever one is there i am keeping tracking of the uh, one value that is where the sorted element is stored which is making it possible zero unsorted equal to int max unsorted equal to length why are we keeping int max we just want to know the first occurrence of the zero now if sorted is greater than length sorted equal to length why we are doing this because uh, as you know if one comes here if we remove these elements we need to keep track of the we are sure that these all are sorted the there is no point that sorted should be greater than size so sorted should be equal to size since all these are removed and length is less than unsorted unsorted equal to int max means if it is unsorted here and if there is a length that is uh, if that if we are removing these elements then it does not necessarily mean that it is uh, sorted it is unsorted it can be sorted also so we don't know so we are nullifying the index there now what are the things we see if uh, according to question s of i equal to 0 and length less than 2 not possible and if s of i equal to 1 and unsorted is length that is 1 there and 0 is coming between that is not possible so that is this condition and if s of i equal to 0 then we keep removing it right uh, when s of i equal to 0 when already some 1 occurred and we kept on removing it so it is already sorted there so these both conditions are approximately kind of same uh, this is also not valid so i keep f equal to 1 and break if f is uh, positive I say it's no, else it's yes. So you can refer the solution here and uh, I hope that there are like many solutions there. So please look at the editorial also to find a different flavor of it. And uh, that's it. If you uh, just uh, let me know in the comments, like since it's a very different problem, I try to explain for the first time. So let me know. Thank you.